Welcome back. It's so good to see you. So, today we're going to be flipping through two different food and wine magazines. Uh, this is for April and May. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I really like this. Mag I like magazines that like I can find recipes and even if I don't like the actual recipe it can give me uh, different ideas things to cook right and this first one looks like it's gonna be a good one the Italian way there's gonna be lots of pasta oh I absolutely love pasta it's so amazing <laughs> okay uh, Oh, this also says the drinks issue, so looks like there'll be some recipes for, I guess, like cocktail kind of drinks or something. I don't know. 13 tasty reasons to visit Tuscany. 30 spring ready recipes to cook now, and 49 bargain bottles for drink lovers. I guess that's for wine or something. I can't drink alcohol, so. That'll be useless to me, but if you drink it, maybe it'll be helpful. Look at that. Like, that would just be a fun drink, right? I would like that. Food and wine editor's brews. If you're a foodie, that would be amazing. Food and wine classic, Charleston, September. Experience, foodways, culture, and history. The Holy City is Charleston. The Holy City. I don't know. Ah, uh, gross. I don't know what that is. I don't even know. Some kind of meat. Ugh. Grass. I wish I could eat meat sometimes because watching someone eat a burger just looks like it's so satisfying, but I could never. I have tried. Ooh, no. Because for me, I'm a vegetarian for texture reasons. Like, I just can't. And, like, when you really think about it, ooh, I overthink things a lot, and it's just like, mm, pass, pass, pass. Gosh, there sure are a lot of ads in here for cruises. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, I have never seen this. What is it? Is it cream cheese? Is it butter? I don't. I don't know what it is. Uh, it says that it is spreadable gourmet cheese. I've never seen this like in any store. Where is it? Is it by the yogurt or the sour cream? Is it by the cream cheese? Because I've never seen it. I remember getting like a little mini version of it in like the Five Surprise food series and I, I've never seen it. I've seen ads for it. Not ads, but I guess, yeah, advertisements. Uh, I've never actually seen it, but man, mm, this stuff looks good. Not, not that, but everything else, yeah. What is this? Look at this. Is this like an ice maker thingy, but it makes a special kind of ice? That's cool. And that looks really pretty. That looks like something that they came out with for like Barbie. <laughs> How to shake. Really? Okay. Maybe the shaking style makes a difference. I, I don't know. I want to go swimming. I cannot wait for the pool to open this summer. I want to go swimming so bad. Oh. Hopefully we don't have any issues. Usually once a year, a few times a season or whatever, the pool gets shut down for some stupid reason or like there's some kind of drama because parents don't show up with their kids and as long as you're 13 or older you can go to the pool by yourself 
So it's all the idiot kids that are left home alone, you know, or like their parents don't want to come and they all start trouble. And it's just, ugh. I don't, I always try and go as early as possible. Um, but they moved the open time. It used to be 11, but they moved it back to 12. Uh, and I'm like, ugh, I used to go at 11 so I wouldn't have to deal with the, the idiot kids, but... Uh, hopefully it won't be so bad this year. I don't know what all this stuff is, and it looks delicious. I don't know what that is either. New Choi? I don't... I don't know what that is. It looks good, though. I would, I would eat that. Oh, oh look at this piece. Little kitties. That looks good. I don't know about these weird little ones like pearl onions or something. Yeah, pearl onions. I don't know if I would like that, but those carrots look delicious. Asparagus. I've always been too scared to even try asparagus. And I've heard that like a lot of people are on the fence with asparagus. It just looks like it would not feel good to eat. Mm -mm. Those are delicious. I love these, but sweet potato fries make me mad because normal fries, they stay hot for quite some time. Sweet potato fries, they stay hot for like one minute and then they're ice cold. What is up with that? Does anybody else have that issue? Because I thought it was just me and like I was cooking them wrong or something, but I ordered them at like restaurants and stuff too. Same thing. Cold, like two seconds after it's on the table. What is that? Mmm, what is this? Crab toast? Mmm. With asparagus on it. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't do seafood either. I'm so picky. Shrimp and artichoke gratins. I mean, it looks good. But I couldn't eat it because of the shrimp. Mm -mm. Pork belly and lentils. Disgusting. I watched a how how it's made. Pork belly. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Bakewell coffee cake. I'm gonna say yes, but like, there's not actual coffee in it, right? It's just something you're supposed to eat with your coffee. Yeah, I don't see any coffee in it. If it had coffee in it, I'd be like, pass. But that looks good, right? Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. I don't know why I do this, but I always look at these before I eat. <laughs> they always make me hungry. Tequila takes over. Oh my god, tequila. Ooh. When I was able to drink, I have drank tequila before and I'm not a fan of tequila. No, no, no. Gin? Have you ever had gin? I've had gin one time and I would never have it again because it literally tastes like grass. It's like you might as well just go outside, get some grass, steep it in some water, and drink it. That's that's exactly what gin tastes like to me. Maybe I had really bad gin. I think it was like Grey Goose or something. Or maybe that was a vodka. I don't know. It was some kind of... It, it was a nice gin. It wasn't like some cheap bottle of whatever. Oh, disgusting. Miles and miles of wine aisles. We have a, a wine... A wine and things? Is that what it's called? It's some kind of wine store in the woodlands. And I'm, they have aisles and aisles and aisles of wine. And it's just like, my gosh. So many different kinds of wine. There used to be this this wine that I liked. My, my friend uh, got it from some winery in Florida. And it tasted exactly 
like that sparkling white Welch's fake wine stuff. It tasted exactly like that, but it was like 25% alcohol, so it was very easy to drink and super easy to get drunk. <laughs> it was a good thing that we were neighbors and we could just walk home because whew, we didn't realize. We were just like, wow, this wine is so good. Let's open another bottle. <laughs> That's pretty. It's very pretty. Oh, I want to try a cauliflower steak. Is that even on here anywhere? I don't know, but I keep seeing these on like TikTok and Pinterest. And I really want it. I really, really want it because I absolutely love cauliflower. Food, wine, guide to tea. Hmm. I like tea. The best tea shops. Hmm. Oolong, white pea, peony, silver needle, jasmine petals, dragon well, something. I can't read that. I don't know, I can pronounce any of that stuff. What do we have here? Black tea muffins. Like, do you drink this with black tea? Or is there actual tea in it? Or do you use it, like, do you make it with the tea? You know what I mean? Like, you make the tea and then you use instead of like water or whatever you use that hmm interesting it looks good though what is this anchors away steeped jasmine tea infuses floral notes into a traditional simple syrup giving this cocktail a beautiful aroma and mild sweetness that looks delicious Salad with tea poached chicken. Hmm, that's interesting. That's a huge salad. I've never had my boiled eggs like that. Like, that just seems like raw to me. Mm -mm, I don't like that. No matter what do we have here. Banoffee pie? What is that? It looks like there's bananas in there. Is that bananas? Uh, let's see. I don't know what it is. Yep, it's bananas. That seems a little too complicated for me. I could probably figure out a way to make it easier. Mm, I love sweets. Vegetables. Ultra Zook? Ultra Zook? I don't know what that says. Rice with green tea. Anything with rice is fantastic. That looks like eggnog. It says it's a latte. The joys of ginger. Use ginger generously and it will reward you a thousandfold. Ginger does. Mm, Whenever I make stir fry, I use ginger and oh, it's delicious. Delicious. Mm. Oh, look at these. This just makes me very thirsty. That looks good. Double ginger salad. Oh, I have been loving me some salad lately. The kids too. They're like, every week, can we have salad? Can we have salad? Ginger simple syrup, ginger lemon tonic, spicy whiskey ginger, Arnold Palmer. That does not look good, but I'm sure it is. It's roasted ginger pork loin with parsley sauce. Okay. Pass. I see. 
noodles a minute ago. Yes. All right, we have chilled noodle salad with carrot ginger dressing. Yep. There are countless ways to use ginger from savory to sweet. Every part of the meal from morning to night. What can you use it for like breakfast? Maybe like, I guess, muffins or something? Mmm, no churn. Ginger lychee, lychee, sorbet, double ginger salad. I don't know what that says. Marinitos, marinitos. I don't know, but they look like cute little pigs. <laughs> the hidden beauty of Bulgari. It doesn't look very hidden, it looks beautiful. Alright, pasta. Let's go. I love pasta. Mm. Oh, what is that? I don't know what it is, but like it usually labels it, but it does have the mmm yum. I've never had like homemade pasta though. I bet you it's amazing. That mm-mm. It was like oysters or some kind of mussels or something. Yeah, spaghetti with mussels, mint, and lemon. Gross. It's like isn't this the shell? Why would you put the shell in there? Like Take whatever the thing is, the muscle, out, and then dump the shell. Like, what? Peppers. Peppers are delicious. Biscuit and Jam, a southern podcast, is back for season five. Okay. I wonder what makes it southern. Artichoke. Parmesan soup. Ooh, I bet you that is good. Good, good, good. Yep. Mm. Uncork extraordinary. That's pretty, isn't it? I wish that tasted good. I don't. I, I've never been like a huge wine fan except for like sweet wines. Okay, this says Global Tastemakers 2024's top culinary travel destination. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Gross. <laughs> that would be so pretty. I would full on fall off in one of those rocks. <laughs> a work of art deserves a proper pedestal. Is th are they talking about like the refrigerator? Dude, my cousin has these refrigerators. He's got like this shop, like built off separate from his house, and it has like this massive kitchen and refrigerators that are like, I'm pretty sure they're restaurant refrigerators because they are massive. They're massive, and it's like oh, so much refrigerators. There's so much room for whatever. I'm jealous of his whole refrigerator freezer setup. Ugh. Ugh. I know you're, you know, don't knock it till you try it, but like, I just can't. Like, I've heard those are very slimy, and like, you have to swallow them, and just, ooh. No, 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 no. I think my dad likes them, though. I am Top Chef. Okay. What is that? Chef Testant? Okay. I make horns howl and stomachs growl. What? That just, look at the, uh, no, the little leggings. I'm grossing myself out here. As good as gold. What is as good as gold? What is this? I guess it's some place you can visit, but I don't know where. Obsessions. First of all, gifts in the world. 
is a Japanese hand towel. Top Chef. I've never watched Top Chef, like, ever. Visit Newport Beach. That's a really nice boat, I guess. I don't I don't know. Sandwiches, yes. There's nothing like a good sandwich. Just oh. Why do I do it to myself? A fish sandwich? Mmm, pass. Delicious. I don't even like lemon, but this is looking very refreshing. What is this gross? What is this? I don't know what this is. The bag inside a box wine. Okay, so it's it's a bag of wine. That's weird. It's like I want to go on a cruise, but also I don't. Because it's like... I don't know. I, I would just feel trapped. I, I just don't feel like I would be really comfortable in it. And like the actual rooms are very small. The bathrooms are small. I don't like that. I need room, you know? Light as a feather, fluffy, tender, angel food cake is a lesson in kitchen science. I love angel food cake, but I don't really like anything on my angel food cake. I like literally just like to cut it and then grab it and eat it like it's a snack. Like, it's so good. I mean, it's good with other stuff like too, but I just like it plain, you know? But I, I actually like regular cake plain. I don't really like frosting and stuff on my cakes. I don't like that. I just like plain cake. My husband says that I'm a psychopath. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Like, frosting is just too much for me. I don't know. That looks good, but I'm sure there's some gross meat in there. Weeknight chicken pot pie. Yeah. How about can you give me this recipe without meat? With just vegetables. That looks good. It's a crab omelet. Mm. I don't like crab, but I do like omelet. What is this? Creamy polenta with artichoke. Ar Agrodulce? I don't know. That doesn't really look good to me. Look at this view. That is nice. That moment when you unlock the world with a single sweet key. Marvelous mangoes. Oh, mangoes are delicious. We haven't got, like, actual ripe mangoes in yet, so I'm holding off, but, oh, I will just cut up like so many mangoes and then do the little thing and and just eat so many of those for my like lunch or something. Oh, mangoes are delicious. Like what is this? Is there meat in here? Please be no meat. Mm. Nope. No meat. Okay. Iced carrot spread. What? Like, do you take these little bread and just make that? I want to try some of that. Do I want to make it though? No. The other day I was like, sometimes I just wish that like food would just appear in front of me. And my husband was like, yeah, that'd be great. And I'm like, oh, it does happen. 
because I cook. I don't, I have control issues. Like, he's offered to cook for me, and I'm just like, no. Because he won't do it right. I'm a better cook than him, and I know it, so. <laughs> More wine. This is a lot to put on a bottle of wine. A lot. Drinks are so pretty. They're just so pretty. I don't know what that is, but yes. Mm, that just looks like sweet tea to me. Mm. Delicious. Visit Mississippi. It says right here. When I was going to see my husband in Georgia, we drove there and then drove back and we stopped at the Mississippi River and I thought it was going to be like some big deal because it's a big river, right? No, it's not even that big. It's obviously it's very long. It goes through the United States, but like it's not that wide at all. Like, I, I don't know why I thought it was just going to be like, whoa, I can't even see the other side or something. No. Like, you could full on swim to the other side. It's no big deal. I was very disappointed. And it, like, it wasn't even pretty. There's a, a, a river in Georgia, and there was a river walk and stuff by Georgia. That was pretty. That was pretty. But the Mississippi one was just like, okay, and it was no big deal. I guess they can't have a river walk there going all the way through the United States. Although that would be pretty cool. They should do that. Think about all the states that would benefit. Whining and dining west of Portland. one, what's in your wallet? Oh, this page is real thick. Oh, because it, it like opens up. What is that? I have no idea what that is. It's some kind of street food. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know what this says, but then it says delectable octopus filled No, thank you. <laughs> so there was Tokyo Merido, Merido, I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know. Whatever she's got going on there, it looks like good. Silver Sea Cruises. Why are they called Silver Sea? Is it for like old people? <laughs> this is too fancy for me. I'd be like, okay, but where's like the real food? Delicious. There's a cherry on top. Yes. That looks delicious. From Brazil with love. What is this? Oh, it's a Brazilian fish stew with toasted cassava. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Oh my god, this looks full raw. How can people eat that? I don't get it. I... <clears throat> this is what I mean by texture thing. Like, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. And I don't want, like, juice that's coming out. Ugh, gross. Okay, what is this? Creamy corn cake? I would like to try some corn cake. Like, is it sweet? Is it savory? Is it, like, cornbread type thing? Or, like, the sweet cornbread? Or, like, what? And I want some of that. Yes, please. I love... Wait, what? I thought this was pineapple. It is not. 
It's grilled beach cheese. What is beach cheese? Well, now I want pineapple. I gotta find... Does this say grilled beach cheese? What is it? It's Thai chilies. Wait, fresh red, red Thai chilies. Steamed and cut half lengthways lemon zest coriander seeds so it's not cheese at all or oh no this is a sauce this is no it's some kind of cheese it's hung hung cheese I don't know what that is the giving tree I guess it's something to do with coconuts I first remember tasting coconut Ugh, when I was a kid, and I was like, oh, gross. I did not like coconut. I don't, I'm not like gonna go out to the store and buy coconut now, but if coconut happens to be in something, it's not a big deal to me. But like, I'm not gonna put it on stuff like this. No. Mushroom and beef satay with coconut peanut sauce. If you like steak and mushrooms, I bet that looks good to you. Hmm. Coconut lentils. Mm -hmm. um, I'll pass on that. I don't know, I feel like there wasn't that like amazing stuff in here this time. I want them to do like a dessert thing. I don't even know what these people are eating. But look at these plates with the butterflies on them. How cute. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.